Hello guys and welcome to another episode to Evil Nun and today we are going to get the car escape ending but we're going to go in ghost mode because it's a little difficult. Now I was preparing a video but it didn't work out. There's a lot of background noise and everything so this time it'll work out. If you hear a little bit of background noise I apologize. You know, but it's not too much, at least. Okay. So first we're going to need to get the power on, which is a very big deal. Just also letting you know, you will be doing this constantly, 24-7. Each time you play, so each challenge you do, you'll be doing this quite a bit. So, the... Um... Wire can spawn in one spot. It's usually, for me, it's usually in one of these drawers. It really is. Ta-da! The crowbar can spawn in one spot too, which is in the kitchen. You know, I call it one spot, but I guess technically it's two. Which is one in the kitchen, and then it's, so it's in the same place. It's in the same room, but different spot. Okay, now we go and... That in. Which it's not really taking us too long. I think finding the yellow key is what's going to be important. We're going to need to get the yellow key. And a bunch of keys. That's what we need. Yoink. While we're here, might as well make a good gameplay. So. Hold on. Jesus. I guess we need a bunch of keys, which we don't have. And I don't know any other way to get outside, but I know this way. Better than anyone. Still not really coming. Artwork. Fan art. Well, since we got that. So what I mean by different challenges is I'll go over it. There's a bunch of different ones. Some of them are hard. Some of them with different spawning spots. But might as well pass time. I honestly don't know what it is. Where is he? Okay, so, after, like, a few minutes, I followed her, finally got her to go through here. It is incredibly, it's not incredibly difficult, but it's a bit challenging to get her to go through the door into this cave. Well, not, God, what am I saying? Not cave, into this garage. I, just, I guess you can call it a cave. I mean, it's like the nuts cave. Pre? But no. It is, it was pretty difficult. Now we unlock it. 
got the yellow key in hand. The bunch of keys. So, usually the bunch of keys has... Oh, hold on. Uh, sorry, so... Ugh, my apologies. So, the bunch of keys... Usually have... Usually spawn right on this desk. It is, like, right out in the open. That's where they usually spawn. And now... We get this. And we wait. We wait. Jesus, where's, where's this person even at? You know, what if she went for to go get milk and she never came back? He answers my problems. That's not <laughs> as you Well drop this. Makes a lot of bang. Which is must be filled with concrete. Yes. Ooh, right when I walked away, too. Right when I walked away, just... There. Now, the paint's gonna always be, sp be put in here. That's, like, an always thing. So yeah, so the paint will always spawn here. Just remember, paint will spawn always here. The keys, the bunch of keys will spawn on this table. And the yellow key will either spawn upstairs or, don't quote me on this, but in the office, if I remember correctly. I'm so used to the upstairs spawn point, so... These aren't clothes, they're Bibles. What? They're saying these clothes are dirty. They're not clothes. We we don't wear Bibles. Now we wait. Which will take a few seconds. Okay. Here she comes. Oh, come on, not at the beginning. Here's your ending. Drive away. Sorry for the ad ads, it'll always pop up in a few seconds. There you go. Now, this, since this video was a bit short, I did in my last video explain what Dream was. And so, we I will kind of let you know what um the store is. So, the store is actually pretty much something you can buy from so you can buy different weapons to stun the nun 
for a duration of like I think like two minutes, which is pretty cool. Or something to help you on your journey or with a challenge. You can buy all sorts of cool different um creep like cool things for the nun and they'll give you little descriptions within them too like this steve head you know the nun will have less vision or vision range if you're into progress you want to skip through your progress a little bit then bam now i'm not gonna actually do i'm not gonna skip through any of it we're gonna i'm gonna legitimately earn the mask pieces so you guys can know what the challenges are firsthand and know what to do and know the spawn points for them. Decor, you can buy different decorations. So if you're feeling like, you know, the evil nun kind of got you down and you kind of want to be cheered up, you can buy these creepy little decorations, especially that little plush right there. I mean, like, dear God, why would anyone want to buy that? Like, literally, that looks like the future of the future mother of my mother oh my goodness gracious and then currency you know you can watch video or you know open the collect your daily reward you can watch the video you can go out how many coins you'd like which is pretty cool now you can't always buy them improvements because you need to unlock some stuff which is you know reasonable but like I said some stuff that aren't unlockable you got and then as for others which is extreme so, the nun's faster, the nun hears everything, and the nun is, and the school is much darker. We'll eventually give that a test run too, which will be a pain. But, yeah. Um, leave a like and subscription if you enjoyed this video. Leave a subscription if you want videos. Every, fresh videos every morning and you know I will be doing some more Minecraft tutorials because it seems like the first video is really enjoyed and I want to thank you for all the views um I was hoping to get to 60 we went over a little 60 we, went, we got to 63 which is pretty cool pretty great I'm shooting for 100 so you know, help me out. Well, let's get it to 100. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.